Greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. Glorious it is. It is 45 degrees and sunny. The temperature is going to go up another 10 degrees out today and then start dropping. Okay, so we're on our way to go get bagels to snarf. I haven't posted anything, although of course I've filmed every day. It was just, I don't know. I always say this. It was just boring, stupid. But most of my stuff is boring and stupid, so it doesn't really make, you know, shouldn't daunt me from wanting to post it. But I've been doing other things. What have I been doing, you ask? Well, I've been teaching myself how to be a photographer of humans again. That was a lot more difficult than I thought that it was going to be. In particular, I'm trying to learn how to use flash, studio strobes, things like that. I have two AD200 Pros. And then I have a, an older V862 that was meant for uh, Olympus Panasonic when I used to shoot Panasonic. And it doesn't matter because I'm not putting it on camera. I'm actually using it behind as like a hair light, sort of a, you know, to separate from the background light. And I had played around with that a while ago when, when I was taking pictures of myself trying to figure out how, how to use all that stuff. And then I just never did anything with it because humans annoyed the hell out of me. Now that I'm on, on the, the roll to get in, back into that, I, I thought it was high time that I do everything that I can to learn how to use it all. So everything is all charged. And yesterday I sat there and took a shit ton of pictures of myself, eventually got everything synced up correctly and, and was getting shots that I wanted. I wanted, I've been wanting to put a different headshot of myself up on my website because I just put the other one there as filler and it's an old picture and, and you know I didn't really want that up there. That's what I was doing. I was practicing by taking that shot until I got what I wanted, which I did. The bottom line is I'm relearning how to use the, the flash, the, you know, the strobes and everything. Let's just go get bagels. I'm freaking hungry. Bagels gotten. Time to friggin' eat. Hey kids, guess where we're going? We're going to Target because we forget shit every time we go to Target. So today, really, it's a simple trip. I'm, I'm going to get kitty litter because he's a pooping and peeing monster and I just can't seem to keep up with it. That's really all I need there. Uh, so we're gonna run in, grab some kitty litter, probably walk the entire store aisle to aisle so that I can go through and remember all the other shit that I'm forgetting because I'm sure that there's more than just kitty litter on the list, but nothing that I have uh, written down. <laughs> Here's shit in your eye. Big surprise, after I got cat litter, I didn't really want to go anywhere else and I just thought I'd come here and hang out. It's hopping. I'm surprised I even got a seat, but I did, so we're going to sit here for a little while and just and, and vibe. Thank you. Here's more shit in your eye for later. Okay, my bean imbibed, her bean on the way. It's 2.39. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and I'm going to get all, like my lighting set up that, I, that I've been working on and, and chat about that because, well, because. So, yeah, let's go do that. Again, I'm trying to get back into shooting human beings. In order to do that, i got to relearn how to shoot human beings. And I have been going through and getting my lighting system set up. Now, a big difference is that when I used to do this in Chicago, like... A decade ago, over a decade ago, I had strobe lights. I had a whole strobe light system. Basically, the condo that I bought, I bought with having a studio in mind. So everything was set up in that place for me to use it as a studio. And it had one long room from the sliding glass doors all the way to the other side of the condo. And then on all the way on the other side of the condo, I did not use that room like a dining room. I used it as a studio. So I put exercise matting all along the floor. I put black velvet on every wall. And then I had all my strobes set up so that I could get proper lighting. But I could also be way the hell back in order to get the shot that I needed to get and have plenty of space to, you know, have that separation between the background and in between the lights and all that shit. Well, I don't have that now. Also, most of the stuff that I plan on doing is going to be outdoors because I don't have enough space inside my house to create an actual viable studio. 
not unless I want to get divorced because I'd have to take the entire downstairs and make it into a studio or use my master bedroom as a studio. And obviously that's not going to happen. So what I'm doing though, is I'm practicing inside my library by setting up my whole system of lights here. Now what I use or what I'm going to be using in some fashion or another is I'm going to be using Godox AD200 Pros in addition to a Godox V862 actual on-camera flash that I'm not using on camera. So I'm going to show you all that stuff right now. So this is the flash unit and this is a leftover from when I had uh, bought this for my Panasonic system, but I don't shoot Panasonic anymore and I kept the flash because, well, why get rid of it? I thought maybe I can get it to work on another camera system. Now it does fire if I put it on any of my Sony cameras so far, but I don't use on camera flash. I can use it in another creative way. So what I'm using that one for is sort of a back hair light to give me separation from the background or, you know, just to light the back of my head up or the model's head. Now here's the configuration of the 8200 Pros. So for right now, as you can see, I have each unit da, 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 there set up on a light stand. And then I have this single modifier that goes in there that pretty much everybody raves about. Same thing on this one. It's set up right now. It's just TTL and it's all set up on these light stands. Now, as you can see on this light stand, each one of these little knobs here that you use to tighten and loosen so that you can shift the light stand up and down is busted. So it is a bitch to get those things to let go because they're really tight. And that was on the super heavy duty one that I bought. And then this little skinny flimsy ish newer one that's supposed to be heavy duty. I was like, when I got them like heavy duty, this thing's not heavy duty. What the hell? But this one is totally intact. The knobs are all intact and it works like a charm. So I actually ordered another one, but what I really got coming that I will use most of the time is I got two newer stainless steel heavy duty C stands that they're just a little bit sturdier and all that stuff. And right now I have my a seven R five hooked up on my YC onion monopod, very precarious. So I don't want to touch it. And then of course I have this Godox X pro firing unit and I have all three of the flash units set up on the same channel, you know, the same everything so that they all fire when I, you know, when I take the shot. So the other thing that I'm using is this creators app, the Sony creators app, which normally their app sucks. Well, it didn't used to suck. Their play memories app was amazing. And for some unknown reason, they stopped supporting it and they replaced it with all this other garbage. That imaging edge mobile app was just a heaping piece of shit. The creators app here is a little bit better. So anyways, what I'm doing is that I'm connecting it up to the camera. And now you can see me as far as the camera sees me. And then what I can do is I can, and I have this set up as uh, a timer. That's how that works. Now I can move each one of these lights up, down, around. I don't have to use TTL. I can manually, you know, configure everything. Now, one of the other things that I used to have, and of course I can't find it. Don't know if I got rid of it or what, but I used to have a light meter. So I ordered another Seconic light meter so that I can get exact readings of what I want when I'm actually wherever the hell I am shooting. So for now, that's all I wanted to show you. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like, and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.